often the most bustling place along the whole of the Hong Kong waterfront is the Aberdeen fish market. Fish are very nearly the key of life in the colony, so naturally the junks crowding the harbour are the homes of a big proportion of the 140,000 people who live on boats in Hong Kong. Pathé cameraman Ken Goddard samples the luxury travel of this part of the world on his way to film the arrival at the Aberdeen fish market of Princess Alexandra. The larger junks of teak and Chinese fur are diesel powered these days. The children of the waterborne families make themselves useful afloat almost as soon as they can walk. In fact, everybody seems more at home on the water than on land. Another fishing place, Stanley Village, had a royal welcome ready for the princess. Stanley is the family name of the Earls of Derby, one of whom was colonial secretary when Hong Kong was ceded to Britain 120 years ago. The princess earned the same golden opinions here as everywhere else in the colony. Next day at Fanling Lodge, the governor, Sir Robert Black, held a reception at which the leading residents and officials of the new territories were presented to the princess. The word new is not to be taken literally, as the territories were leased as long ago as 1898. The Lok Ma Chow police station looks across the water to China. In relief, the map here shows the intricate physical layout of Hong Kong and the Chinese frontier. Police Commissioner Heath told the princess that there are 12 observation posts and two other police stations along the 22-mile frontier of the colony and China. And over there lies the vast country of 640 million people, governed by dedicated communists and destined, perhaps in our lifetime, to play a dominating role in world affairs. But in Hong Kong, neither among the shanty dwellers of So Uk, nor, not far away, those of the bright new development area, is any fear of China apparent. The great port has its uses to the Pekin government. So the main interest of So Uk lies in housing the population, which, in this limited land area, can be done only by building semi-skyscrapers. If it were forbidden to dry fish and washing outside the windows, there'd be a revolution. And while it was drying, the folks had time to see their royal visitor. Princess Alexandra had not been long in the colony, but by her charm and natural behavior, she had won affection everywhere. <laughs> In So Uk, they're raising a healthy new generation, heirs to a freedom they'll learn to cherish when they grow up. The time was nearing when the princess would have to leave this part of the Far East to continue her tour by way of Japan. And just as she will leave treasured memories of herself, so will she take with her the happiest recollections of crowded days in the colony of Hong Kong.